happening. The former governor of Jigawa State has continued to speak in recent times and has not stopped speaking. Yes, he has been speaking about um, the presidential primaries ahead and, um, you know, his focus now is on Peter Obi. For some reason, Peter Obi's name has just been in the air in Nigerian politics today. Hardly do you mention those participating in the race without mentioning Peter Obi. For, you know, Nigerians are really sincerely in dying need, okay, to ensure that change come. This country, there is a possibility for this country to truly become what it should be. However, to become the best, rather, you know, what is meant to be. But guess what? We have people who are serving their own purpose and interest. And guess what? Can't be bothered. And, you know, these are part of the reasons why Nigerians really need a change. Um, the middle, the former governor of Jigawa State, is speaking about, you know, our very own brother's influence, what has been going on with him, and how things currently are. And he's saying, you know, uh, concerning Peter Obi, this is what I think. This is what I, I believe. This is what I think, you know. And um, I'm saying this to you that Peter Obi, you know, this is what I think will happen, you know, in his, regarding his presidential, uh, his presidential uh, 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 elections. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Go to Kano and mention Peter Obi's name and see their reaction. So let's see Lamido. The former governor of Jigawa State, Salu Lamido, still believes that Peter Obi popularity is only on social media. He does not really see that Peter Obi could possibly be the president of the country. I would I would be recalled that a lot of youths have been clamoring for Peter Obi presidency. Obi's popularity appears to be waxing stronger, especially on social media shortly after he joined the Labour Party. While he was in PDP, he was not as prominent as he is today. When he saw that the possibility of him getting the People Democratic Party's presidential ticket was not possible, he left and joined the party that could help him actualize the dream. The former Anambra State Governor recently picked Baba Hamed as his running mate for the 2023 presidential elections. Speaking to Punch newspaper on Peter Obi's chance, Saliu the middle, who has been a constant member of the People Democratic Party and social media user, are easily moved by fancy things, he said. According to him, it is not surprised he is not surprised that Obi is gaining massive support on social media. He told Punch.com that people that want to test Obi's popularity should travel to states like Kano, Anambra, etc. and mention the name of Peter Obi. According to him, their reaction will tell him how popular Peter Obi is in those areas. Go to Kano and mention his name, Peter Obi go to Anambra, where he served as a governor, and mention his name. You will see that the youths believe in fancy. The older generation vote still counts. The end will justify the means. We will see how things will turn out when elections results are called. So this, that's, this is what this young man is saying. In his opinion, he feels very strongly that uh, Peter Obi's popularity is still, is still a fancy uh, you know, thing. He cannot really see the reality. But I, I just, just to clarify what he's saying, because I'm of the younger generation and I just want to make something clear to him. Little does he know that, you know, what he's saying is the archaic thing. I understand him completely that the youths are more on social media, you know, they are, but guess what? That social media is driving them to go get their PVC. Have you noticed what is going on? Never in the history of the country called Nigeria has Nigerian youths been so involved in getting their PVC. Never. I mean, for a long time, they can't really be bothered. As soon as, you know, we see presidential candidates, they start telling you, mm, it's going to be this, it's going to be that. But have you noticed that the trend is different? It's not business as usual. It's different. Trust me, it is different. 
people are going out of their way. And guess what? This man is not even a, a deep pocket. It's not a money bag. He's not ready to spend money that he has the money to even spend like some other contesters in the, in the, in the whole thing. You know, he doesn't even have that money to spare or to spend or to give out. Yes, you know, he says, listen, he, he, he feels that the youth are on social media. So it's just this fancy social media. Is that what you think? You don't understand the connectivity that social media does. The same social media you're underrating would be what somebody who has their child, okay, in Japan. The child will call the mom, the father and the mother. Who are you voting for? Family will be having conversation like, oh, I beg, I'm not voting. Say, no, no, daddy, you can't do that. Mommy, you can't do that. Go and vote. Eh, who should I vote? Is it not the same uh, A, the same B, the same people? Say, no, mommy, there is this person we are trusting. And we are trusting God that maybe change will come. If some person is given an opportunity, I believe that you should go and vote. Like, okay, I don't want to go before. Say, go, go, just do this for me. Do you know social media has pushed somebody to vote? Father and mother will get there. They will stand behind the line of the person you said social media cannot bring to prominence. You don't. You are underrating today's age. This is the reality. This is the real life. This is what is happening now. Before, you, you can say that and get away with it. Before. You can say that and get away with it. But now, I can assure you that things are different. Trust me. You could say, oh, social media will not... That's what you think. Do you know that the world today is a global village because of the same social media? The world is a global village. The world today, you can be in your house in Zamfara State and know what is happening in the U.S. even now. That's how things are. That's how things are. You can be in Zamfara and be seeing what is happening in your house in Zamfara. And you can see what's happening in your house. You know, yeah, you can see what's happening in, 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 in Australia, in Canada. Okay? You can see it right in Zamfara State. Once you are connected to the web. It's called, you know, a social, it's called the what? The, the, it's now the web. You see? So it, it is happening. It is happening. It is happening. So my wonderful people, it's about time. It is about time. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a th thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.